Come on. Hello from Carol. <laughs> and hello from me too. And Tilly. And Tilly. Tilly doesn't care. <laughs> she just wants to get down. So today we're going to give you a little bit of an update on what we've been doing. If you are wondering where the heck are all our cruising videos that you're expecting from a narrowboat channel, well, there's a really good reason that we haven't been making them, and that is that we are not in the water. <laughs> So uh, we find it very challenging to cruise what we're on, on concrete. Standing, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we're up on a couple of railway sleepers and we've got loads of work that we've been doing on the outside of the boat, which was just much easier out of the water. Cruising videos will return and we hope to be back in the water in May. So Hopefully. in time, yeah, in time for the kind of summer season of madness on the Lancaster <laughs> Canal. So when the boat was out of the water, we'd already arranged with our marine mechanic, Mick Fuller, to uh, lift the engine out of the engine bay. Mm. Originally, it was it was just because he was going to replace the engine mounts. And, yeah. and that was just because we wanted um, new engine mounts to see if we could make the engine run even more smoothly. Which it has. Which it has. It's made a huge difference. Um, but while it was out of the water, there was an opportunity to clean out to clean out the engine bay and it was and, scary yeah it was it was a lot standing water had been in there over the years rust oil yeah it was pretty manky so we didn't we didn't want to have a <laughs> scruffy engine bay so we decided to source it out and pretty it up so that's what today's video is about and we hope you enjoy it by the way if you enjoy the video give us a thumbs up we really appreciate that yeah, and new content will eventually uh, include cruising cruising, and um, stopping off at interesting places, kind of showing you what we see and uh, some of the people that we meet and the places that we go to around the canal as well, which I, I hope you'll enjoy. So please do subscribe. We really do enjoy having you along. And thanks to everyone who comments. It's really lovely to hear from people and the nice things people say. There are people who say there's a better way of doing it. I'm hoping that I can learn a lot from um, from our subscribers, uh, particularly those who've been through some of the processes that we're going through. So it's all appreciated and we really thank you. So on with the video. On with the video. Have a Take good day. Care. See you. Bye. Bye. So here I am in the engine bay. Not my favorite place to be. So this is the state of the engine bay. Not too bad on the sides. Pretty good actually. Where water is and, and fuel has been able to kind of work. There's some rust and just gently dirty. So I'm clean all of this out find temporary homes for a lot of this stuff then scrape it degrease it and use back tan on it to cure the rust or to convert the rust it's not bad
the uh, stern gland is, there's obviously water has dripped in there, maybe overflowed sometimes from the catch container, and there is a reasonable amount of rust in there, but uh, overall, not too bad. I suppose that might be quite kind of greasy water that gets there, which probably helped. So this is on the battery side, so I've been scraping this off as well. Starting to look a lot, a lot cleaner and clearer. There's a few areas where the rust was quite bad, quite thick. In most areas where it was just pretty superficial. So all the loose rust is up now. The surface has been wiped down and kind of dried out pretty well uh, with uh, paper towels and cloths. So now uh, I'm going to start the degreasing and then uh, clean that out. Hopefully that will be completed today. Look at that steel. I wish it was all like that. So this is the degrease and on. I've done all of the areas that I'm intending to paint at the present time. So I'm just going to let that sit for a while, do a little bit of work on the outside of the boat to help Carol. And then rinse all of this with water. I've cleaned the drive shaft with all that's all the gunk to use a bad pump in the various metal pipes. I tried not to get uh, get any on the rubber and plastic pipes. And I'm not sure that would be good for them. But we're getting there. started to uh, rinse out. I've given everything um, a soapy water rinse to get the rid of the gunk, the deep greaser. And it was, uh, I don't want to use a dirty sponge. I've only got dirty sponges, but I do have a secret weapon for soaking up lots of liquid, which is disposable nappies, disposable diapers. So I've got uh, a few of those, I'm going to test those and see how well they get rid of this. Then I'm going to give it another rinse, just to make doubly sure, before I start to, before I let it dry and start to put the back tan on. But it's looking better. So let's see how the nappies work. You obviously don't know how a nappy works. Let's see how well they work to soak up all this water. So it's all been back to end apart from that side panel which is which doesn't need it so time to start priming the engine bay 
the back turn uh, has done its job and it's all a, a nice kind of blue black color and no signs of rust so I'm um, gonna uh, just paint a sufficient area to get the uh, engine back in because I can do the walls with the engine in place it's not really a problem getting to these and they're not too bad anyway so it's not a priority uh, my priority is to deal with all these areas that were rusty and get those protected because that's obviously where the water gathers so I'm using the International and they recommended this in the bilge as the primer of choice that I would use the Dambolene over the top of. So we started in this corner, it's really good thick stuff. It feels like it's really gonna give a good uh, protective coating. I'll give it two coats of this and then uh, a couple of coats of the Dambolene and uh, the engine bay should look much smarter and be much better protected against standing water. So I've painted myself into a corner. It's a few bits, but I've run out of primer. Uh, I need a, a pole attached to the end of the paintbrush to get that. So this is what is going on now for the first coat. First coat, apart from the bits I needed to step out, two of the engine mountings needed painting. Then I've got about half a tin left, roughly, not quite. Um, so to do that, uh, this is a 750 mil can of paint. And it, co it covers really well. I'll say that about the Dapmaline. Certainly, I kind of missed the white. I could have got the Dapmaline in white, but I thought it would have been a smart colour. Anyway. So the first coat of Dambolene has dried really, really well. I'm pleased with how well it's dried and how tough it feels already. Time will tell whether I've done enough prep on this. If I do get rust coming through, I'll be surprised. But sooner or later, with steel boats, that's what you're gonna get. I have yet to make a proper box for the batteries. It's on my to-do list. Anyway, let's crack on. So the good news is there's no water on these upper sections, which suggests that, that the uh, weed hatch cover doesn't have any particular leaks. But the channel from there, the channel from here, I can't lift it because the engine's on it, and the channel from here flows down here, and normally it will collect and go down this hole, and from there it goes out through here into this off out to the side of the boat but because the boat is leaning at about seven seven degrees because we're on hard standing and it's not level all of the water collected on this side just overflowed into this side of the engine and that's fairly dried on there so that's kind of consistent with that whereas this is very wet down here anyway um, I don't think it's going to be a problem when we're back on the water so much and also when we can have our tonneau cover on which makes a big difference the amount of rain that reaches the engine compartment. So let's see how much water we collected last night.
So here's Mick. Hiya. He's got the engine in, and uh, yeah. he's just tidying up and doing the last... the engine up, down on the shaft. Yep. And it uh, looks a whole lot better since everything's been done. So anyway, we'll give you an update later. <laughs>